Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 2! Last time, we rescued Tam from the scoundrels, or... Well, they were all kind of dead to begin with, but... We rescued her anyway. Hooray! So, let's bring her back to Dad, and hopefully he'll put behind his Stephen ways. Or murderous ways. Whatever he's doing. We better be able to get past Darren because we've been everywhere we can go in the northeastern quadrant of Moda. What's going on? Oh, you just have the same outfit that uh, Nay is wearing. Yeah, she was kind of kidnapped the whole time. Why aren't you telling him who you are? Well. That escalated quickly. Holy cow. Uh, okay, I don't see how this is relevant to that, but... At least they're out of the way now, so... We can get on with saving the world. Or, well, the galaxy, or star system, or whatever's going on. Well, let's keep an eye out for that biosystems lab, and maybe there's another town around here. Well, spoiler alert, there is! Hopefully I have enough money to do everything I want to do at the town. So, let's check it out. What do we got going on here? Okay, money. Let's see. I barely have enough money for that. But I'm going to have to sell some weapons. So, now let's talk to people. I was going to say maybe buy the equipment first, but nah, we'll just look around. Opta? I thought this town was called Apuda. Hmm. Maybe that's something they changed in this particular version of the game. Some of the names got a little mixed up, so, uh, I mean, it's nothing critical, but still. But yeah, Star Mist is an uh, item that you get that can heal all of your party members. It's really nice. Unfortunately, we can't exactly buy them, but there's another way we can uh, farm a whole bunch of them. Uh, well, I would disagree with you, dude, with all the monsters sprouting around here. Huh. Well, okay, I'll check that out. Surely that won't become important for me to finish the game. Eh, she's not doing a very good job, buddy. Maybe you should get another computer control system like Fate or something. Probably work out a little better for you. Ow. Well, then where's all the cacti around here? I guess these are the native Matabians. What do you say? Oh, and she's just running the whole show. I, I wouldn't worry about it, though. It's probably not important for you. Well, we got to head over to the Biosystems Lab and get that recorder. Let's see, you can save right there if you need to, but, well, not right now. Got a teleport station that I'm going to be using there in just a moment. Oh, I already talked to you. Get out of my way. See, hospital, cloning lab. I don't think I've ever used the cloning lab. I mean, if I just, if I die, I just reset or something. <laughs> ah, well. Okay, whatever works for you, pal. Okay, well, anyway, let's go to the item shop, sell uh, Nay's weapons there, so that way, oh, no, no, I don't want to sell the ribbon. I just want to sell the regular weapons there. Because, yeah, we got new weapons for her. Let's see, we got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be buying eventually. Uh, no, no, I think that's that's all good. So, yeah, you need 2,400 uh, Mercedes to get what I want. Well, doesn't Mother Brain make food? What do you use, like an Enertron? But you're still hungry. Hmm. Well, then where did these monsters come from, genius? Well, anyway, okay, we got ceramic bars. So we want to give those to Nay, much more powerful than the ones we had before for her. Let's see, uh, no other weapons that I'm really interested in here? Okay, so let's get those on her, see how well that helps out her attack power. She's going to be way more powerful than my other party members right now, because, well, they don't have upgrades right now, other than the ceramic knives, which are still way too expensive. So I'm just going to pass on those. Wait, what about that? 
Ah. Oh, well, that's probably where the recorder is. Gotta keep it around somewhere. What do you mean? Well, I thought they were just attacking people, not the land or the planet itself. Oh, what's so horrible about it? Hmm. Let's see, can I go around here? Oh, yeah, they got another building over to the left there. Yeah, they kind of hide it from you, and eventually you're going to need to go there to progress with the plot. Not right now, it's actually not until way later in the game, but still, something to keep in mind. Okay, how's it going? Um, sure, why not? Oh, I guess we got, like, the soundtrack or something here. What? What's that? Is this, like, game over music or something? Huh. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we, if you go in to talk to him and say no... Uh, sure, why not? Now. Whoa! Man, you can't take a joke, dude. But thou must! Okay, so say no, then say yes, and he's willing... Or, yeah, say yes again. And, let's see. How much would it cost for Nay? 5000 No way! Hmm. wonder if I could uh, get a cheaper price than that. Well, let's see. If you go no, yes, yes, and then it looks... Or, get... Have a male character get lessons. For some reason, he gives you a much less price... A much lower price for your male characters and your female characters. I don't know why, but, well, there it is. Eventually, you will need to do that for 2000 Meseta, and learn, you learn the music technique, which you need in order to progress with the plot way later in the game. I'm not going to do that right now, because it's a lot of money. By the time we need it, that will be a relatively negligible amount of money. So anyway, now that we're done here, and we've already, well, yeah, bought some stuff, Let's, uh, head on back, then. Because, well, as before, when you reach a new town, you got, well, more party members to sign up around your house. Well, at least we cleared the inventory space with Tam there. She did her job. Okay, how's it going? Oh. Can we have someone remotely competent join our party? Uh, that's kind of creepy, lady. I have just met you. So, I'm just going to leave your name alone. But anyway, I do want to add her to my party, even though I don't plan on using her long term. Because she's basically a pure healer, like a white mage or something. She has almost no offensive capabilities, and she's really, really, really slow. So, that's a problem, especially later in the game when the enemies start getting a lot faster. So, I'm only using her now because I have the extra space, might as well put her to use, but long term, I'm not going to really worry about her. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually walk back to Aputa there because, uh, well, I want to get some experience for Amy there because, well, she's pretty low level and fight some low level enemies on the way back there as I'm walking. So, I'll take care of that, meet you over there. Okay, we're back at Aputa here. Did I even get a level for her? No. I only ran into like a battle or two and didn't get that much experience. So Now, if you're new to the game, Amy might be a good idea for you to use because the enemies in this game are really, really tough. And you're going to be taking a lot of damage and, well, she could help heal you. But pretty much anything she can do, I can do with items instead. And so she doesn't really bring anything unique to the table. Even multi-targeted healing can be done with items like the Star Mist. But anyway, what I want to get here is I want to get two fiber gears. One for Rolf and Rito. A fiber vest for Nay. That's the best armor in the game for her, actually. Uh, yeah, she kind of got screwed on that for some reason. But, well, there you are. 
And also, once I buy those and sell my excess equipment, then I also want to buy some Dimates and Monomates for the next dungeon because, yeah, we... It's going to be a long dungeon compared to the previous ones. So, first things first, let's head on over to that Biosystems Lab. I'm not going to actually go in there too far. I just want to clear some inventory space. And then we'll do a little bit of grinding to get the money I need for the armor. But be careful around here, because this is where the enemies get a little tougher. Like this guy! Okay, Lacusta. Um, nothing too special about them. By the way, with Amy, for now, since she really has no offensive capabilities, I'm just having her defend the whole time. And hopefully, way in the back there, she won't get attacked too much. Another reason why I'm doing the grinding that I want to do now is because I want to bring Amy at least somewhat up to speed so she doesn't get one shot by blasters or something in the next dungeon. And blasters are going to be much more common in there. So we're going to have to be able to deal with them. But let's see. Okay, we're doing pretty good there. Let's heal up Bruto and Roth a little bit there. Amy, well, she's got plenty of uh, tech points to go around, so that's another advantage of using her. I suppose if you did use Amy, she... I mean, with the multi-targeted healing, it's a lot easier to do it through her than to farm the Star Mists. But I don't really find multi-targeted healing that mandatory, even as hard as the game is. I have ways of dealing with the difficulty later on. But anyway, okay. Just want to go right here. Yeah, we have to blow up an entrance into there. Why we don't have a key card or anything to get in there, I don't know. But, well, there it is. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, by the way, there's that tun tunnel in the lower right. You can't get through there. The door is locked. So we need another way to get through there. So now I'm just going to walk around here, farm some money, and if I run into some new enemies, great. If not, well, then I'll uh, see you on the other side, viewers. Okay, well, we do have one new enemy here, Fire Eye. Uh, actually, one thing that's kind of weird about this guy is that, for some reason, in the Sega Genesis version of the game, they're called Kite Dragon. And, but there's another enemy called Fire Eye that looks more like an actual dragon. Uh, somehow they mixed up those two names with those two enemies. I don't, I don't know specifically how or why, but they did fix it in the Nintendo Wii version of the game, at least. So, all right. But yeah, those guys can hit your entire party uh, for uh, magic damage, and that can be really devastating. Fortunately, I used Kafoy, and I was able to get that through before they were able to murder me a little. So, alright. Well, let's keep on looking around, then. Okay, here's another new enemy that we can meet up with here. Stingers. Let's see, these guys can drain your HP. Or, wait, have I already met up with them? No, I haven't. I'm thinking of someone else. Uh, Waspy was the one I was thinking of, but this guy is new around here. Just like their cousins, they drain HP. So, just keep Amy defending there, and you should be fine. She could even survive two hits from blasters if she's dying, or if she's defending. Yeah, if she's dying, she'll take less damage. No, no. Doesn't work that way in this game, but... Okay, so, I've got another level there. I think we have the money I need. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, well then let's head on back. I already saved at the village off screen, or Aputa off screen, so yeah, we can just warp right back there. Awesome. I'm not gonna worry about buying stuff for Amy because, like I said, I'm going to be getting rid of her at the earliest time possible. Well, maybe not the earliest time possible, but very, very shortly. Okay, so we got two of those. Let's get that for Nay, and I think we should be good. Let's see how well that uh, helps us out there. Might want to rearrange my party order now, depending on how everything is moving along. Now, if you are going to use Amy long term, you could buy her a couple emuls, like carbon emuls, if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. If she's defending, she'll be fine for the most part. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. 
Oh, uh, what was the other thing? Nay, you have fiber vest, right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I want to buy four diamates, mostly to use on Rudo because he has the HP to actually survive after taking more than 20 damage. And then I'm gonna buy 12 mono mates. Uh, those numbers are arbitrary, just based on... How did I just walk through that guy? Well, anyway, uh, like I was saying, the numbers that are arbitrary for how many diamates and monomates I use, just that in my personal experience, that's just about how much I'll need to survive going through a PUDA, or not PUDA, um, the Biosystems Lab, because it's a pretty long trip and we will run out of tech points by the end. I'll probably barely survive, but we'll be fine. Okay, so how are we doing on defense? Let's see, yeah, you're a little ahead of her now. Yeah, yeah, let's put, uh, let's put Rolf up front there now that we've got the new armor. So I'm going to, uh, sell my excess equipment off screen and then buy the items that I'll need in order to survive going through the biosystems lab. Can we make it to the recorder and get out alive? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.